Hey guys, welcome to the updated compression tutorial. So if you, and unfortunately this is just for people with Windows 7. If you have Windows XP or if you don't have a multi-core processor, specifically a 64-bit processor, this is not for you. But if you do have Windows 7, you have a 64-bit processor and Windows 64, uh, well, the version 64. If you have 64-bit stuff and you know it, do this. So first of all, download Virtual Dub 64 for link. Also download the X264 codec, which I also have a link in the description. If you don't have this, just go with the DIVX stuff I had before, by the way. Um, there's not gonna be that huge a difference between the different uh, codecs at that rate, but X264 is much faster. When you're talking about 64-bit compression, you get a much uh, better quality overall. In fact, I think they're the only um, compression codec I know of, and it, once if you have everything installed properly, it should look exactly like that. So what you wanna do first, is open uh, not that open a video file that you just recorded presumably in Fraps, uh, and you're going to have a bunch of chunks. So what you'll do here, I'm just opening this first chunk, but you're going to have a bunch of chunks. So what you're going to need to do is file append AVI segment. I'm just going to throw in another chunk just so it uh, you guys kind of get the idea. I don't know if I even have another chunk. Okay, there's another chunk. Of course, they're not the same. Uh, should have planned this out better instead of just diving into it. But whatever gonna dive into it anyway. So now I have two chunks added on. You're gonna to need to do that for all of your chunks. Once you have them all there, go to Video Compression, select the X264 uh, codec. You're gonna to want to configure, uh, click that button right there as you see on screen. Um, preset medium tuning, none, profile high, level auto. And really, you could, if you really know what you're doing, go ahead and do a two pass uh, filter, but for the rest of you guys, and just for speed, I would suggest doing a single pass quanti uh, quantizer based, that's CQP. I set mine to 25. Basically, the more you go to the right, the lower the quality, but the smaller the file size you'll end up with. The more to the left, the bigger the file size, but the lower the quality, and you guys can mess with that a little bit. And also be sure to click this virtual dub hack uh, check mark right there. Hit OK, hit OK. File, save AVI, save it wherever you want, and then once you hit OK and run, you're, you're gonna be off to the races. That's exactly how I compressed, actually, this tutorial, which I initially made with Camtasia. Um, I guess I could have made it with something else, but made with Camtasia. It's how I've done more or less a lot of my video, not with exactly that process. Um, ha have a few tricks in between, which I shall not share. I shall hoard my ha ha I'm just kidding. Um, but anyway, that's the updated compressing side. Everything else from my prior tutorial is exactly the same, which uh, I mean the fraps are recording and this has absolutely nothing to do with live streaming. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that helps all the new video needs and this is a lot faster if you're on uh, again a processor that has 6 or 8 or 64 bit uh, enabled more or less. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening and hope that helps out some of you guys who are uh, up and coming trying to do commentary for this or other things.